science world in this particular lecture we'll discuss about class 9th chemistry topic 1 that is our matter in your surroundings let's get started with a big smile so well let's draw a diagrams and try to understand this topic briefly with this help of diagrams our diagrams look like this first you look this diagram carefully and remember it with the help of this diagrams we easily describe all these terms related to this topics matters in our surroundings easily well for examples we take waters our water is a matters what is matters matter anything that has mass and occupy space is called matters so for example we'll take water as a matters well when we take some waters in a because our water look like this this is our waters when we magnify this waters millions of times with the help of a magnifying lens our water look like our waters made of some random moving particles this is our small particles and that particles are moving all around in this containers well this uh, when we magnify this uh, waters we get some random particles that moving all around this because when we further uh, magnify with the help of this magnifying lens our water look like this these small particles are made of h and o this is the our uh, one o particles and contain two h particles and made of uh, h2o molecules our waters look like this this is our water molecules and this is this molecule water molecules made of two atoms that is our oxygen and hydrogen atoms or two element that is our oxygen and hydrogen element well then go towards further we find our waters uh, have three different phases one is liquid phases second one is solid phases and third one is gaseous phase except this phase there are more two more state uh, of water is possible one is plasma state and uh, second one is Bose Einstein condensation state. Let's go towards further. This three states, genuinely, this three states can interchange with each other. Let's have a look. Can matter change its states? Yes, this matter can change its state. How this matter can change its state? First off, effect of change of temperature. First one is the change of temperature because of change of temperature and second one is effect of change of pressures if we change the temperature of this matter the matters can interchange with one state to another state similarly if we change the pressure then the matter can interchange to one state to another state. When the H2O that is our liquid is changed into ice with the help of uh, change in temperature or pressure, this particular uh, particular time we state, uh, say that this is our solidifications. When liquid change into solids, if solid change into liquid, that process is called fusions. When this liquid is changed into gas that is our vaporization process when this gas is changed into liquid with the help of this change in temperature or pressure that is our condensation similarly solid to gas and gas to solid both are called sublimation conditions uh, sublimation process if if people carefully observe when you look this uh, this is our white cloth when white cloth dry off we observe there is no change in pressure of our surrounding the liquid change to vapor without the liquid reaching its boiling point means when a white cloth is uh, dry to dry off you carefully observe our surrounding pressure does not change or if change a limit well our surrounding temperature is less than 50 degrees celsius this is not efficient to boil the waters means the liquid vapor without the liquid reaching the boiling point 
the water's boiling point is 100 degree Celsius. So, we simply mean that change of a liquid into vapor at any temperature below its boiling point is called evaporation. This is the more important term in our matter course that is our evaporation. Okay, how this evaporation process is possible is coming in the comment sections. Well, let's discuss its different terms. There are six terms related to these topics. Each structure represents one terms. Well, this is our matter. Anything that has mass and occupies space is called matters. For example, in this case, we'll take water as a matters. The second term is its physical nature of matters. Matter is made of particles you clearly see this water is zoom out this water is magnified with a magnifying lens we clearly observe this mat uh, water is uh, made from small particles then another question has come to our mind that is how small are these particles means these particles is uh, how much size well when we magnify further then we get this type of structure. This type of structure represents the characteristic of particles of matters. First one is particles of matter have space between them. We clearly see these particles have some space between them. Second one is particles of matter are continuously moving. These particles of each particles of matters moving in random motions. Well, third term is related to this third structure that is our particles of matter matter attract it each other well these particles are attract with each other you clearly see carefully observe this hydrogen atom the attract to another hydrogen atoms this create a bond that is our hydrogen bond this is our hydrogen bonding well let's uh, go further this is our four structures uh, these structures represent state of matters uh, if you carefully observe, this is our uh, 1, 2, 3 and 4, 5 structure of uh, matters. First one is uh, solid state, second one is liquid state and this is our gaseous state. Uh, I accept these more two states are possible uh, that is plasma state and Bose-Einstein condensation state. Then uh, the five fifth terms related to this topic that is our can matter changes state yes the matter changes state how this matter changes state first if we change the temperature the matter can interchange with each other if we change its pressures then the matter can interchange its state means if we change the temperature then we uh, change ice into gas or gas into uh, liquids similarly when we change its pressures if we increase or decrease its pressures then we get ice to water and water to uh, gas. But one thing is come arise into our mind that is if it does not change its pressure and temperature, the matter is change its state. Please, you, you think it deeply. Why? Because if it does not change its temperature or pressure, the matter is change its state. Yes, this is possible. This matter changes its state. How this is possible? If we briefly discuss in our next lectures. Okay. This is our a wet cloth. If we uh, dry it, the wet cloth uh, remove its water particles and this liquid water particles change into gas and our wet cloth is dry off. This process is called evaporation. We briefly discuss about evaporation in our last lectures. This is a very important term related to these topics. Well, evaporation, how this evaporation is possible? This evaporation change of a liquid into vapors at any temperature below its boiling point evaporation is held. Means we observe our surrounding temperature is nearly about oh, 50 degrees Celsius but the boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius and um, you carefully observe our surrounding pressure 
it's almost uh, no change in its surrounding pressures. Why this was half when our wet cloth is dry off? Because you people carefully observe and think it and comment in the comment sections. Well, pause the video and draw this diagram and write out the uh, term carefully. Well, this is the six terms related to this topic that is matter, physical nature of matter, matter is made of particles, how small are these particles of matters, characteristic of particles of matters, particles of matters have space between them, particles of matters are continuously moving, particles of matters attract each other, state of matter that is solid state, liquid state, gaseous state and to more states that is our plasma state and both Einstein condensation state. Then fifth one is can matter change its state? Yes, effect of change of temperature and effect of change of pressures. Then sixth one is no change of pressure and temperature that is our evaporation. A factor affecting evaporation, how does evaporation cause cooling? This is all about uh, all terms of this topic that is our matter in our surrounding. Well, we'll discuss all these terms briefly in the next sections. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this video is helpful for you. If you interested to watching this type of more educational video, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon for more updates. Thank you so much.